guys, so today I am going to be giving my thoughts on this year's Christmas release. So, I've already seen like everything on this, but I figured I would still make a video about my opinions on it. So, let's get started. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe because I'm trying to reach 400 subscribers by the end of the year. So, let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we have is the Sapphire Splendor doll. This is $265. She's pretty, don't get me wrong, but I definitely don't think she's worth $265. Maybe $150, $175 at most, but definitely not $265. Next we have the Silly Christmas Sweater. This is super cute. What's the shirt today? Cheers, my dear, with a little deer, and it has a little headband, the mug, and the card. This is super cute. It reminds me of the ugly Christmas sweaters that Mixed Pixie 7 had in one of her Christmas specials. Next, we have the Silly Hanukkah sweater. It comes with basically the same thing as Christmas sweater, except the blue Hanukkah sweater. I think this is cute, but I normally don't see people really wearing Hanukkah sweaters. I feel like that's more of a Christmas thing, but I feel like it's still a cute idea. Next we have the JD and Jack wrapped in roses dress for Bitty Baby. This is super cute. This is super cute. I absolutely love this. Next we have the boy outfit for this year. This is super cute. This is actually one of my favorites. I think I would probably get this, but it's $42 and I'm not sure if I'll really pay $42 for it. Next we have the Wrapped in Roses party dress. This is super cute. It's another one of my favorites. AG tends to do really well in holiday dresses, which I love. Here we have the Mary Everything PJs for the Welly Wishers. This is super cute. I used to have a top like this that had like the ribbed pattern on it. It looks super cute for the Welly Wishers as well as the Bitty Babies. Let's little bow on the Bitty Babies. Next we have the three mystery packs. This one has a bunch of these. This one and then we have this one, whoops, and then this one is like a bigger pack, it comes with smaller ones. Here we have the floral toy, toil dress. It's this super cute. It's not like my favorite, but I definitely still love it. Here we have the plaid skirt. This is super cute. I was at the AG store about a month ago, about two months ago when you're watching this and my Oma managed to convince me to get this so I actually have this and hopefully it'll be used in my Christmas photos. Here we have the sweater. I also got this when I was there and this is super cute. Here we have the flats. These are super cute. They're probably one of my favorite flats AJ has ever made so that's good, that's a bonus. Here we have the boots. These are cute. I mean, they're just your standard navy blue boots. Here we have the leggings. Normally, I'm not a big fan of the legging sets because, I don't know, just, or the bottom set because, I don't know, I just feel like the bottoms aren't that good, but these are actually pretty good. I, I did get these, so yeah, um, and they can definitely go with a lot. Here we have the shirt. This might be one of my favorite outfits from the collection. I love all the roses on them. Here's the fur coat. This is super cute. The only thing I'd say is that it looks a little similar to the one in Claudie's collection, which, yeah, I'm not sure. Here we have the plaid coat for 18 inch dolls. I love this. 
Part of me wants to add it to my collection, but also my dolls don't really wear coats that often, so maybe not. <laughs> maybe I'll see if it's like still on sale after Christmas or goes on clearance or something. <laughs> Here we have the hat. This is super cute. I almost bought it, but then I realized that my dolls don't wear hats that often because when AJ dolls wear hats, their hair tends to get like super duper frizzy and you can't like really calm it down. Plus also I just don't really like putting them in hats. I don't know. And then here we have the skirt. This is super cute. I really hope I get for Christmas because this is another one of my favorite outfits. Here's the Wrapped in Roses dress for the Wally Wishers. Super cute. I mean, it looks exactly like the other ones. So, this is the Mary Everything PJs for the 18 inch dolls. Once again, this looks exactly like the other ones. So, not much to complain there. <laughs> Here we have the Dia, Dia de Muertos celebration outfit or Day of the Dead. This is super cute. Definitely, definitely looks like something that they would wear for Day of the Dead. My sister actually went as Day of the Dead a couple years ago. The only thing I'd say is that the mask should have been like a whole thing that could have gone over the face, not just the eyes, but I still really love it. And I think I also heard that the embroidery is like real embroidery. Next we have the Kwanzaa outfit. I'm glad they either kept this or brought it back because I think it's really cool to have like the different dresses for each of the holidays. Here's the Hanukkah dress. This is super cute. I love the little silver at the bottom. I don't really think I have any complaints with this. Here's the Eid outfit here outfit. I probably butchered that. This is cute. I probably won't be adding it to my collection. Not not because there's anything like wrong with it or I don't like the culture or anything, but it just doesn't really seem like something my dolls would wear, especially since none of them are from that culture. Here we have the New Year's, the Lunar New Year's celebration. Sorry. This is super cute. I really want this. I like the red and the gold. This is just so pretty. And then finally we have the Diwali celebration outfit. This is super cute, but once again, like with the other one, I I don't think I'd buy it just because it isn't really something I'd put my dolls in because none of them are from that culture. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry this was more of a quick video, but I mean there wasn't really that much. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Comment below your favorite thing from this collection, and I'll see you in a couple days. Bye!